circumstances? Yeah, I think this is the f the first game in a while where we haven't where we haven't actually scored a goal. Um, yeah, and it's just it's just super disappointing that that we weren't able to to create as many chances as as we hoped to. Um, yeah, and I think that's just being being more aggressive in, in the attack and, and throwing numbers forward and and getting getting guys in in the box when the when the ball gets wide and um, yeah, obviously the the game played out. You know the way it played out with with the red card and, and things like that. So we were we were under it for you know a lot of the game, which is you know kind of rare for Atlanta United. Normally we're the we're the ones on the on the front foot. Uh, you know, especially in terms of possession. Um, so yeah, it was just uh, you know unlucky that we weren't able to, to create as many chances as we wanted to. And how much of that is potentially related to? Know, not having a player like Tiago or a Gigi anymore, you know, players that really create danger in and around the box. And, you know, to add on to that, uh, what potentially, how do the roles within the team need to change to kind of uh, make up for that lack of, of danger uh, that coming from not having those players anymore? Yeah, like you said, it's, it's um, you know, tough when you lose two guys like that in the, in the middle of a year, you know, Tiago's a you know a, a world class player, and, and the same for for Yakumakis. He's a, you know a goal hound and 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 needs service in the box. But um, you know those guys are gone and, and not here anymore. So we need to to rely on the on the players that we're putting on the field to to create chances and, and score goals for us. So um, you know we we practice it every single day in training and. Uh, you know, we watch it on film, uh, specific situations that we've, you know, put ourselves in. And, um, you know, I think there were times in the second half against Montreal where it was a 3v3 situation, 3v2 situation, um, and we just weren't able to create, you know, a shot on goal, which is unfortunate. And, and it's frustrating because we, we practice these, these drills in training. Uh, you know, when we get into a 3v3 situation in the final third, um, you know the correct movements and passes to make to, to create a, a goal scoring opportunity so um, yeah those guys aren't here anymore so like I said we have to rely on the on the guys that are in the locker room and um, you know hopefully this this Wednesday at home uh, in front of our our crowd um, you know we can we can get some we can get some you know opportunities and score some goals how is uh, Pedro integrated into the team so far what have you seen from him how can he help the team going forward yeah to be honest with you I haven't seen much of him um, just because we've been on the road so much and he, he hasn't really had the opportunity to, to train fully uh, with us yet. I think he's he's been doing a lot with the with the fitness staff. Um, but yeah, we're excited to, you know, to have him and, um, you know, we're hoping that he can come in and, and uh, you know, help us out. The first half with Montreal, it seemed like they kind of pinned you guys a little bit with getting so many players forward but you coped with it really well because they weren't getting great looks. How was the, the organization defensively in that with them flooding, whether it's center backs as tens, Sosa especially on your side? Yeah, Rob kind of wanted us to, to, to have, uh, you know, a solid block um, defensively. I, I thought against Salt Lake, we were kind of, um, you know, getting drawn out at times and, you know, they were able to, to create opportunities um, whereas Montreal in the first half, I thought, you know, we, we stayed in a very solid block. You know, guys were working for each other. Um, we just weren't able to, to get up the pitch and, and kind of secure possession when we need to. Uh, you know, we we talked about it this morning in, in video, and, and you know, it's it's great to get into a to a solid block and um, be solid defensively. But at times, we need to to progress up the pitch and um, you know have our uh, you know, aggression be be more, um, you know, higher up the pitch and, and try to regain balls. And, and when we do, um, whether we, we go on the counterattack quickly and if it's not on, trying to keep possession um, because, you know, it's it's uh, not great when you're when you're pinned back that deep. Um, and we changed it in the second half. Obviously, it was it was good to see, you know, even when we went a man, a man down, um, we were able to throw numbers forward and create chances. Um, which is, you know, it's it's great. It's great character from the guys to to continue to fight to the to the final whistle, and you know, um, that's what's uh, you know a guarantee. It feels like over these past few games, some of the best attacking sequences have come from that pressure high up the field. Is it just kind of take picking your chances to get numbers high and then try to win the ball back? Definitely, yeah. I think um, 
you know, triggers to press. They, they speak about that in, in, in soccer all the time and, and your cues to, to, to press. Uh, like you said, just, just picking the right opportunity and, and regaining the ball higher up the pitch so that, you know, within a few passes, uh, we, can, we can create a goal scoring opportunity. Um, so yeah, we're, we watched it on video. We, we watched you know, all the sequences against Montreal and, and now we're just gonna look to prepare for, for Wednesday night. And um, you know, I think everyone knows when we play at Mercedes-Benz, we're gonna create chances and, and score goals. So um, as long as we, we stay solid defensively, um, I think we can get a result. Last one for me, CNYC all the time and you've seen them under Nick Cushing quite a bit played them earlier this season what are the, the challenges that they present yeah they're a great team uh, you see the you know the results they've they've gotten so far this season um, they've got really quality players um, you know all over the field um, but we went down there to, to New York earlier in the season and, and got a you know well-fought draw um, and I, th I think we created more opportunities than them in, in that game and, and probably should have you know came out with three points so um, you know I know it's going to be a lot a lot of a uh, different game than it was earlier in the season in New York, but um, you know we're going to be as prepared as we possibly can and, and give everything you know for for the badge and, and hope that we can turn these results around and, and get three points and, and build on that. You have two home um, two home games now this week, and it seems like you've had a lot of matches where you're away for two games in a row. Does that give some sort of energy and some momentum for you guys in the squad, knowing that you're going to come home and you are wanting to get a result? In these Definitely, yeah. It's 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 uh, you know always tough to, to be traveling as much as we have been. Um, we've been on the road a lot this this past month, and um, you know that's that's normal. But it's it's great to, to be home and um, you know in front of our our own fans, and they're going to continue to push us um, to the last uh, day of the season, whenever that that may be. Um, you know to, to try to, to get us into the playoffs and uh, you know have a very successful season. I still believe that this group can can get results and um, you know we're really excited for these two games. Obviously we're, we're coming off a couple of um, you know bad bad results and the more games that that come um, the more opportunity for for guys to step up and um, you know for us to, to start winning. I know it's a part of the sport with guys coming in guys coming out just it's going to get crazier now with uh, timing. But what do you guys tell each other when you lose two guys like Jake and Amada, uh, like about filling their roles and kind of do you take it upon yourselves now with the situation you're in? Do you guys have to slide in there? How, how does that work? Yeah, that's that's kind of why you build a roster from top to bottom at the beginning of the season because um, you know in, in MLS uh, anything can happen in, in the middle of a year and you know you look at our roster and we've we've had two designated players uh, you know leave in the in the middle of the year so um, that's that's exactly why we've got so many talented guys uh, you know that can step in step in and, and fill fill that role you know you've seen Daniel Rios the numbers he's been putting up lately have have been fantastic for us and um, we just got to continue to to serve him and and give him as as many chances as, as possible and same as Jamal when Jamal comes in and I know he's he's dealt with some injury problems this year but um, whoever's on the pitch you know has to give everything for the shirt and um, you know there's going to be a lot of moving parts uh, throughout a season but uh, whoever gets the opportunity to play um, you know should should believe that we can win because we're Atlanta United and we should win um, so we got to you know stay grounded continue to work as as hard as we possibly can in, in training and um, that'll lead to, to positive results and when you guys were back at home a couple weeks ago you had a crazy win and it was almost like uh, you guys were going to carry that momentum yep. now and four straight losses when you guys are on the road how important is Wednesday and what has to change for you guys yep. to yeah, Wednesday's a massive game for us. We we have to change the momentum of of um, you know of late. And like you said, we we had that incredible win against Toronto. Um, you know, I thought that that was kind of the ball was going to start rolling in our favor a little bit more, um, but it hasn't. And so we have to roll our sleeves up at this point and um, understand the situation that we're that we're in and that we put ourselves in and um, you know dig our dig ourselves out of it. All good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks, Bruce.